All right. Today is May 3rd, 2020. The footage I'm fixing to show you was from July 6th, uh, 2019. July 6th, 2019. All right. Uh, we worked on a project, a wagon wheel flower bush project. Okay. So, uh, finally going to finish it out. Now, in the video footage, we did not show planting the rose bushes. Uh, either it didn't get made or I deleted it, but it's not important. Uh, next weekend is Mother's Day. So this wagon wheel I got from my parents, from my mom. Um, so I thought it'd be fitting to finish it out. We got roses, they finally grew. I didn't finish the video because I wanted to show you guys the wagon wheel with the roses. All right, while I'm sitting here on the front deck, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this other uh, rose bush we have by the rail. It's quite extraordinary in my opinion. Um, it's doing really well. It's been in the ground for anywhere from two to three years. This one here has been in the ground for 10 months, the wagon wheel one. All right. All right. Enjoy the footage and I'll show you the end result. But first, I don't get the camera hung up. Very nice. Lots of flowers, lots of roses on this thing. Sadie, what are we doing today? What are we doing today, folks? See that wagon wheel right there? I got that from my mama a while back. It's just been sitting up against the house. Okay, we've had it and it's just been sitting up against the house. So, what we're gonna do today is Mama Stephanie got some cheap roses at Lowe's. I think she paid like six bucks a piece. They're climbing roses. We have no idea what color they are. Let's see if I can get in here. No idea what color they are. So we're gonna take this wagon wheel and make a rose trellis out of it. We've been working on the flower garden, extending it out towards the deck. But today we're going to uh, put this trellis in front of this window. So. We got some plants we gotta move out of the way. I'm not gonna show that in that video. Those are some lamb's ears and I guess elephant ears. We already moved one little bunch over there. So, the video is gonna be doing a little bit of welding. Get this thing where it'll stand up on its own in the ground. Um, probably plant the rose bushes, kind of intertwine them in there, and we'll come back later if we ever get any roses. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this.
All right, here's the gist of what we're looking at. This is what I'm gonna use to attach this to the ground. I've got three rods here. These are about half inch bolts. Uh, what I'm gonna do, let's see if I can set my camera up here. Sorry for all the wind. So I'm going to pick which side I want on the bottom. This is what's going to be on the bottom of the ground. And I've got three rods. You could use, uh, you could probably go to uh, Lowe's or something and get some uh, rebar or whatever. So what I'm going to basically do is take three rods. You get the idea. Another one's going to go there and these are going to go in the ground. I'm going to take these, I'm going to weld along the bottom of this wagon wheel, clean it up so I can get a uh, good clean surface area to weld. I'm going to weld these rods on here, okay? So first thing I got to do is grind down below. All right, here's what we're working with. I got all that ground down, fairly clean metal. Okay, I got my wagon wheel on the table, centered kind of level for the most part. Okay, then I took these boards here, old pallet boards, they're roughly the same thickness, laid them across, laid my rods on top of those to keep them the same uh, center on the wagon wheel. And I've got my uh, rods there going parallel with each other, so it'll go straight down into the ground. So we're gonna give these, I'm gonna leave those nuts on there. We're gonna give these a good bead around all that, weld it all up and good. I may come back with some gussets just to add some extra strength. All right, folks, there you have it. Let me scoot back. We're all welded up there, all three. I talked about doing some gussets, but it feels pretty solid, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna clean these welds up, brush them down, throw some Rust-Oleum over them, and then we'll be ready to take it out there after I move some of those plants be ready to take it out there and put it down on the put it down on the ground. All right, folks, here we are. This is what we're looking like. This is where it's going, roughly in the center of this window. So we gotta pound it down. Somewhere there's a concrete footing from the house out, but I think we missed it. Maybe.
All right, let's pound it the rest of the way down. Baby. Anyhow, that's the gist of it. I might have to get the tractor to push it down the rest of the way. Put that in the rest of the way and then we'll dig our holes for the roses. Here is the end result. These flowers, these roses turned out to be red, both of them. Like I said, these were on clearance at Lowe's last year. At the end of the season, I guess. But there is the wagon wheel with the roses blooming. I imagine next year, though, it'll be even uh, even crazier. So, don't forget next Sunday. It's Sunday today. Next Sunday is Mother's Day. If my mother lived closer, I could get her some roses from here. We've got plenty of them now.